A funny moment happened on The Late Late Show when James Corden plays Jeremy Renner a clip of Elizabeth Olsen saying he always looks grumpy. He was here last night and she oh said goodness. this about you. You're just like, can you stop looking so grumpy? Because everything's fine. Nothing bad's happened. <laughs> he looks like a grumpy cat. Yeah. Like he's just like... Before we get into the video, YouTube hasn't been recommending our videos lately. We'd really appreciate it if you could leave a like and watch the video until the end. I promise you won't regret it. Here, <laughs> Vergara, has anyone checked for a <laughs> these, these are from the internet. For sure bigger than yours. <laughs> A pretty funny moment happened between Andrew Garfield and Jamie Foxx while promoting their movie, Amazing Spider-Man. And also it just looks nice and it's friendly and it's, and it's and you feel protected by it. It would be weird if it was like black and- Wait a minute. More black. Uh, <laughs> Spider-Man. During this clip from a live airing of today's take, a pretty funny and awkward moment happened when Ariana Grande commented on one of the host's butts. Ow. You go, that's it, that's it. Oh, You're doing great, Tamara, and it's very strong. I want you yeah, booty though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Ariana Grande is saying what we were thinking. But I love you. Sure. Yeah, booty though. Yeah. I was admiring. Oh, you look so cute. I'm my so mama, okay? <laughs> little dress here and then we saw that booty. I'm the sorry. booty don't lie. So I, I had to Google the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. I hadn't even heard of it. You look like a less hot version of Obama. Mm. You're like Obama, but not as hot. Mm. The only reason that you're saying that is because you know I slept with your mother. <laughs> A funny but also awkward moment happened when Rebel Wilson made this joke about Will Smith. Will Smith winning for King Richard. But personally, I thought his best performance in the past year has been being okay with all of his wife's boyfriends. <laughs> what? He, come on, he didn't show up. Yeah, the, the reward for me is all in the work, and the reward for me is all in just it being something that moves you. Uh, that's what's most important to me. I'm bull um, <laughs> I'm kidding. I read this in an interview. You once said to your mother, all people over the age of 60 should be shot. Yes. I used to think <laughs> as a teenager, anyone at 60 should be shot. They were just taking up space on the planet. Right. <laughs> so I'm just curious, how old are you now? Time to be shot. <laughs> <laughs> We hung out all night because I think most girls meet Justin and be like, ah, and be a bit pathetic. But like, I meet him and just was like, hey, what's up? I was quite nervous. Well, no, no, that was just because I was holding his balls. <laughs> a pretty awkward moment happened during this interview when Jerry Seinfeld rejected a hug from Kesha. Hard to just sleep when you're tired because people are tired most of the time. Hey, Kesha, I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Can I give you a hug? No, thanks. Please. No, thanks. A little one. Yeah, no, thanks. <laughs> that was a nice moment. I don't know who that was. Yeah, it was Kesha. Okay. Well, I wish you the best. <laughs> you can look it up after. Wake up like P. Diddy, bottle of Jack, yeah. that whole thing. You? I do. I like the ocean very much. Yeah. That's yeah, great. Yeah. You must, you, do you float a lot in the ocean? Sure. What, do you sink? It might be that cast iron heart. <laughs> A funny moment happened during this interview with Ariana Grande when the interviewer asked Ariana a pretty, let's just say, interesting question. A straight guy. What? Softy guy or a straight guy? A gay guy or a straight no, guy? No, straight. Do we want to have a gay guy? I mean, I prefer them straight for me. Um, but I do love the gays. Yes, but not for, for your person. But not person. for me. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I guess I'll go with straight. Let's do the next because I grew up in Albuquerque. What, <laughs> was there any cool places, anything that you liked being there? Like, how'd you like it? Well, did you have fun there? 
Yeah, I'd go and visit your mother once in a while. A pretty funny moment happened during this interview when Tom Hiddleston recalled a conversation he overheard Chris Evans and Chris Hemsworth having in a nightclub. I remember um, there was, I'm afraid I'm going to tell the story, Chris. Um, No, 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 no. uh, There was some dancing involved, and uh, but I remember looking back to um, the only two people in the club who weren't dancing. I heard Chris saying, "But how do you get this bit here?" (laughs) (laughs) It's a fair question. (laughs) And Chris Hemsworth saying, "I don't know, mate. Like, just work out and stuff." During this clip from The Graham Norton Show, Ricky Gervais recalls a funny moment that happened while filming a scene with Johnny Depp. So in one scene, I'm sort of helping Warwick get shoved down the toilet, as you do, right? And I'm sort of bending his legs in. I'm going, it's all right. If, I said, if it breaks, we'll get another one. I'm pushing him down the toilet and I'm laughing and Warwick's laughing. And at one point, Warwick goes, look at Johnny! I turn around and Johnny Depp is going, you don't mind if I masturbate while you're doing that? <laughs> Talk. Uh, on helium. Camera thing to say Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> ben Roethlisberger! <laughs> In a pretty viral clip, a funny moment happened when Lady Gaga brushed past Leonardo DiCaprio and he had a pretty, uh, interesting reaction to it. During this clip from a red carpet interview, a pretty funny moment happens when Jennifer Lawrence and Natalie Dormer accidentally kiss. Hi. Oh Oh my god! I'm sorry! (laughs) We just kissed on camera and I liked it. (laughs) Well, there you go! That was great! (laughs) Ever wanted to hear what Morgan Freeman's voice sounds like on Helium? Alright, here we go, right? Do you, you ever want to go to space? <laughs> I really shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Matt? Yes? Who would you rather? Monica or Rachel? It's <laughs> a great question! Uh, I'd have to say, I would, I would, uh, I would go, I would have some, I would have me some Phoebe. She's very bendy. Oh! During this clip from The Jay Leno Show, Kevin Hart explains the awkward situation he often gets into when hanging out with friends that are richer than he is. I'm in Vegas, right? I'm with an athlete friend of mine. And yo, you know, athletes make a lot of money. Right. So we're there, we're hanging out. Keep in mind, he makes more money than me, Jay. So I'm trying to keep up with him. Sure. Whatever he does, I'm trying to do. Right. So we go to a club, he got a table. So I got a table. He was right. like, Kev, but we together. I said, so what? I got money too. <laughs> I want my own table. So that's, right. I'm gonna spend my own money. Sure. I'm a man. Right. Despite my size, right. I'm grown, okay? <laughs> We get there, yeah. he got bottles, I wanted to get bottles. Gotta get bottles. Yeah, you know, he had women come. I didn't have no women, but at the time I was with my aunt. Yeah. It, was, it was my aunt's birthday. You had your so aunt with you? I had my aunt okay. with me. Uh, I got the bill. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like it. You ever, you ever get a bill so high you try to put it in the light like it's gonna change? Right. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't change. Right? And here's, here's why I don't go out with athletes no more. The next morning, uh, I wake up, my friend I was with, he called me. Right. He was like, Kev, last night was crazy. I said, yo, I had a ball. He said, well, guess what? We're gonna do the same thing again tonight. And I was right. like, you know, I can't, I can't go twice because <laughs> the way that my bank account is set up. Like, you... you a pretty funny moment happened between Jason Momoa and Ross Noble on the Graham Norton show. Yeah, this is this is, this is essentially what you would look like if you were chopped off at the knees and never went to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> Take this as a warning. Yeah. <laughs> you, oh. How annoyed you'd be on set. You went, you stunt doubles here. Really? <laughs> yeah. During this clip from the Jimmy Fallon show, Jimmy does his Donald Trump impression literally right in front of Trump himself. When you first started running, you were, you were very high voice. Your voice was very high. Hey, China, you say China, and yeah. And then you got into a stage where you were just yelling, you were yelling into the microphone at people, and you're yelling at everyone. Now, now you're more of like a smoky, silky. <laughs> 
Blake Lively recalls the time she misheard what someone was shouting on the red carpet for something much more inappropriate. So I'm on the red carpet and then this guy goes, Blake, Blake, your tweets are amazing. Wait, what? Right? And no, I was like, you're... wait, can what, you... excuse me? Yeah, can and he was you, like, you your just tweets are it. amazing. And I was like, are we saying that? Like, like, have you been on Google in the past year? Like, this is not okay. <laughs> you don't talk like that, no. <laughs> and the woman's like, next to him goes, well, I mean, they are. And I was like, well, thank you. <laughs> but, but uh, and he's like, and your husband's tweets are even better. And I was like, oh, t tweets. Oh, Twitter. tweets. Oh, my, my God. My tweets. My tweets are amazing. Say, I don't know how to react my tweets. Tweet. A pretty funny moment happened on the David Letterman show when David put a young Justin Bieber on the spot. A pretty funny moment. I think I've been to every continent. How many continents are there? <laughs> Asia, North America, South America, um, Africa, Antarctica, and the North Pole. <laughs> no. two, two more. You're doing really well. Uh, doing re really well. Uh, uh, two, two really easy ones. You've got the hard ones. Canada. That's that's. <laughs> Canadian, yeah, right? he's, he's Canadian. While on the Graham Norton show, Rebecca Ferguson recalls her tough first day on set with Tom Cruise while filming Mission Impossible. Well, I didn't really know what I was saying yes to. Okay. Because I don't really know how these films were made. And then the first day of shooting, Tom, what did we do? We jumped off a building. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's me swearing and shouting the naughtiest words ever. It was in my ear. In your ear. <laughs> it's real, I'm so sorry, swear, swear, swear. I, I, did I say that? I'm so sorry. I, I... <laughs> Worst words ever. And then we jump off and he just looks at me in the Tom Cruise kind of way and he goes, welcome to mission. <laughs> <laughs> During this funny clip from the Jay Leno show, Denzel Washington recalls the time he forgot to invite his neighbor, Sylvester Stallone, to his house party. Yeah, I visited Mr. Mandela. I was invited to, to meet him. And well, how cool is that? Yeah, yeah. I had, I had, yeah. And actually, when he came to the States, yeah. the last time he came, came to California, came to our house. Well, that's pretty good. I'll tell you a funny story, too. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be mad at me for telling this, but I'll tell it anyway. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, he lives up in the, we're like in a gated community. He lives over there. And he, he wasn't invited. He, we had, well, well, I mean, I would have invited him, but yeah. we had about maybe 40, 50 people there, right. you know, and I had my children. I said, you can invite one friend and you know, Oprah Winfrey, different people were there. And the security, they had security helicopters like it was the president. Yeah. They're like, uh, Mr. Washington, uh, uh, Rocky's out front. He's pacing. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like looking in the gate. Like, <laughs> I said, should we, he's like, should we let him in? I'm like, yeah, let's let Sylvester come yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they said he was outside it. looking sad, like, yeah. man, man. I was I getting between you. you and your man. Exactly, and I was like, he's not even that funny when he's like, dance, like. <laughs> like what the hell? hell? pretty funny moment happened on the James Corden Late Late Show when one of his guests brought a beaver. This is nice? a beaver though, no? Wait, his name is Smithy, yeah. Is this a beaver? You ever held a beaver? I've, I've uh, seen a few beavers in my time, Jack. No, no, no. no, no. I never thought I'd, uh, no. I never thought I'd be face to face with yours. No, um, no. Uh, <laughs> oh. Can I hold it, can I hold him, or is it, is well, it's it? it's her beaver. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not. During this clip from The Letterman Show, Ryan Reynolds recalls the time he accidentally injured Denzel Washington. We did these uh, uh, sequences, these car chases, and I know he talked a little bit about it last night, but uh, you know, we did a, a, a scene in a, in, a, in, a, in a car, it's driving 80 miles an hour, and really uh, intense car chase, and Denzel Washington is in the back seat, and uh, he's trying to choke me to death. Now, he's in the back seat, he's just choking the, the hell out of me, as you do a lot in this film, and somehow, some way, I felt, uh, I felt the back of my head connect with, with something tall, dark, and expensive. Oh. And, um, and we stopped the car, and I, I, I looked around, and, and there was Denzel Washington staring a hole through my face. Yeah. And uh, on his face, he had a very large, growing uh, golf ball-sized welt. He meant banged his face very, very hard with my head, mm. which, uh, which uh, uh, for a young actor, that doesn't feel good. Mm. Um, now, I know this isn't technically a talk show moment, but we felt it was too good to not include. A funny moment happened between Kevin Hart and Shaq while they were on live together. I don't need to tell but, my babies that you said hi. Your uncle said hi. That'll scare him. 
That was no, it would not scare him. I, I yeah. bet you, I bet, I bet you thousand no, dollars. When I smile, he gonna smile better. Zo, so, say hi. 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 Say hi. hi. My name is Uncle Shaq. Say hi. Oh, you see smile? Oh, is I win. Yeah. Are you scared? No. Are you scared? Gonna smile. You gonna cry? Some? Are you gagging? Shaq, he's gagging. <laughs> Oh, oh see, wrong, no, no. What's you wrong, made him cry. You, you made him cry. A pretty cute and funny moment happened on this talk show when Henry Cavill recalled the time his little nephew got into trouble at school for quote unquote lying about his uncle being Superman. And a good story. My uh, nephew Thomas, he went to school one day and it was, you know, talk about your family day. And he was t telling all the, the school kids that his uncle was Superman. The teacher then said, Thomas, that we don't lie in school. And so she got upset with him. Uh, he got in trouble. And then my sister-in-law was pulled aside when she was picking him up from school. And the teacher said, look, we don't, we don't encourage our children to tell lies in school. <laughs> and then she went, oh, uh, she was saying that his uncle is, is Superman. She went, oh, I hate, I hate to tell you this. It's all true. Right, <laughs> yeah. A pretty, let's just say, interesting moment happened when Madonna decided to bend over the table on the Jimmy Fallon show. No, yeah, you get in good trouble. Good trouble. Yeah, mm -hmm. you really do. Uh, no, 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 why would you? Madonna? Stop, 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 stop. Oh, my heaven. Stop, stop it. I don't know what to do. Countless elevator rides. I'll be in the elevator and a, and a, uh, a mother and, and child will get on. And the mother will say, it's Woody. <laughs> and the kid's going, <laughs> <laughs> So I say, <clears throat> all right, close your eyes. And they go, what? She says, just close your eyes. And the kid goes, <laughs> and then I said, we got to get back to Andy's room right away, guys. And then they go. <laughs> I was like a circus act. Uh, did you get bullied? Bullied? Did yeah. I get bullied? Yeah. Yes, yes, I did get bullied. What was that? Uh, my parents uh, were cruel to me. I'm sorry. Other children were very kind. Oh, OK, OK, good. But my parents were like, look at him, he's a freak. <laughs> Can you ever tour an album? Um, you do it down. Actually, Adele gave me a top tip. She was like, yeah, whenever you can't hit the high note, you're just like, you're like, la, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> when did you realize, at what age did you realize that you were good at fighting? Um, well, what age did I, I mean, I'm Irish. We're all good at fighting. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that, we're all good. But... Have a other character that you do? I have one, and, and I'll show it to you right now. It's called The Understanding Scotsman. You can just slot that into any movie. Spielberg, Soderbergh. <laughs> I can't think of any other directors. <laughs> OK, this is The Understanding Scotsman. Yeah. I understand. <laughs> Zendaya, you're taller than Tom, and it became <laughs> this, this Thing, and I thought, Whoa. I, well, I'm not that much taller. Let's just, let's just put this out there.